YouTube is Tech Support Combat, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own uh, starburst effect. So for those of you who don't know what a starburst effect is, it's basically something that looks like this. Now it's a very, very common effect used, and the reason it's so common is just because it's simple and it's just it looks really really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on teaching you guys how to make this today we're using Adobe Photoshop CS3 as usual but the version of Photoshop doesn't really matter and yeah so I'm gonna minimize this and open up a new canvas and document so go to file new and you wanna make it whatever size you want in this case I'm doing 1000 width 1000 height and pressing OK and remember you can make it any size you want it's really up to you Next up, you want to choose the gradient tool and make sure your foreground color is white and your background color is black. And just make a gradient from the bottom to the top and hold shift to make a straight line. Let go and it should look something like that. There's other ways to make gradients, but that's pretty much just the simplest way. Just make a gradient so it looks like this. And then next up, go to filter, distort, click on wave and the type, make sure to change it to square and then press OK. And it should look something like this. Now this is a good effect on its own. It looks pretty nice. You could use it as a background on other stuff if you want. But in this case, we want a starburst effect. So I'm going to go to filter again, go to distort again, and press polar coordinates. And then the default should be rectangular to polar. So just leave it at that and press OK. And just like that, we are already done in two simple steps, or three simple steps, we have created a starburst effect. Now you might be wondering how to get rid of the black background so you could put it on any color background you want. Well to do that, double click on the background layer and press OK. Now what that does is just unlocks the layer. And then next up, change, change the layer type or the layer mode from normal to screen. And what that's gonna do is get rid of the black background. So what I'm gonna do is add a background right now. I just created a new layer and I'm going to add a, uh, let's see, let's choose a paint bucket tool and then I'm going to add a blue background and just watch the transformation. Just like that, you can see the starburst effect right there and it's on a blue background. Now let's change the star starburst effect back to normal. As you can see the black um, in the back appears again. So what I'm going to do is change it to screen and, oops, change it to screen and as you can see the black background has disappeared and I could move it around freely and place it on any on, on any color background I want and in any position I want so that's pretty much it for this tutorial hope that helped you guys out creating a simple and yet very effective effective and cool effect uh, if you like the tutorial please check out my youtube channel at techsportcombat.com that will redirect you to my youtube channel check out my videos and subscribe if you like them and also, please check out my website at octogeek.com. That's O C T O G E E K.com. It's a graphic designing blog, and basically, I post tutorials, inspiration, and sometimes even giveaways on that website. So uh, be sure to check that out. All the links will be in the video description. So this, that's it for today, and thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.